Hello everyone. I just finished a little journal this morning. Actually, I, I started it last night and finished it this morning. It was pretty simple. Only three signatures. Um, obviously, didn't put a lot of work into the cover. Uh, I've had this box for a while and after doing the candy box journal, I just felt inspired to try to do another one out of a box. Um, so this one has a little eyelet there and I don't know if you can see this charm, but it's a little coffee cup. It was part of a necklace I've had for a long time. And I've one it had little hats and, and little cups on it and I've kind of been using them in my jewelry every now and then. So put that little cup on there and didn't have to use a closure because it's not that stuffed. I, did, I just kind of kept the pockets to a minimum. On the inside I put some fabric just to kind of brighten it up and give it a nice, you know, flexibility so you can open and close it easily. And a little pocket made out of a book page with an altered playing card. And this funny little postcard that I got from AliExpress. So that goes in there. So each signature starts with a page from the Butterflies of North America book, which is just an amazing book. It's sort of like the, um, the person who made it is the Edith Holden of Butterflies. It was a botanical notebook, field book, written probably in the 1800s. Amazing pictures. I mean, here's a page right here. I was taking out some pages to use, and I just couldn't bring myself to use these because they're so they're amazing on both sides. So uh, this will have to go in a journal where I can use it as a full page and not have to cut it. Anyway, so that's uh, these actually worked really well for the covers of the signatures. As you can see, these, it, I mean, it just reminds me of Edith Holden. Really nice. So I uh, used an assortment of papers, uh, actually no coffee dyed or tea dyed papers in here, but I did try to find a few little coffee related bits of things to use to decorate pages. And so this is uh, just an assortment of some stationery and notepads I had. Isn't that a pretty picture? That's from a, a cookbook. Those are biscuits. And these were just from uh, notepads that I have. I uh, used a few pages from a children's book because I think the pictures are so cute. Look at that. Uh, that's, that's the books I read when I was in grade school. So um, just put some little butterflies there, and these are some um, clusters I have in my stash that I made a while back. Use some washi stickers. This was a neat little printable thing. I can't remember the name of the, the person who has these, but um, I think somebody's posted a link on, a, on Junk Journal Junkies before. That's I think that's where I found it. So a little stamping. I mean, some pages are just blank, and I'm okay with that. I wanted to kind of keep it simple. So uh, here's the, uh, the other pocket that's in here. I think there's only two. So this is a tag I made a while back. Um, collage with some field notes pictures. That's a dandelion. And this photo, which I have in my collection. Just thought it was it was a nice one. So I decided to stick a photo in there too. This lady, she's coming out to serve the coffee. This is from my old um, Sears catalog. It's like from 1929, I think. More pages from the butterfly book. So that's the first signature. Here's the second one. Aren't those amazing? Uh, 
recipes. More from the children's book. Oh, it's a little something I printed off Pinterest. Just this cat drinking what looks like my favorite drink, a white chocolate mocha, blended. It's an old sewing machine manual I have. So here's one of my uh, no snag paper clips with a Another tag I've made a while back. It's nice to have a few made up ahead. And on this side is sort of a replica, I think of a, I don't know, a tea card maybe. Not sure. More from the children's book. more recipes. Love the illustrations in this cookbook. They're so pretty. And there's the another butterfly page. So this is the last signature. See, look at the sketching, hand write, the handwritten notes there. I like that. cluster I made a while back. Another one of those beautiful illustrations from that cookbook. Doesn't that look scrumptious? I think it's uh, peaches and whipped cream on biscuits. Yum. Peach shortcake. There's a picture of a Melita coffee pot with, um, it looks like there's planets and Jupiter and the Earth all going through that coffee maker. <clears throat> Deep dish apple pie. Yeah, these are recipes of the stars. There's the peach shortcake. That was Claudette Colbert, her recipe. Kind of an image, it's an image from an old magazine, which I've had for a while and I re kind of remembered I had it, so I thought I'd stick it in here. Caterpillar, this is actually from a Cavallini poster, but I decided to add it as a decoration on this page since there's all these butterflies. So um, that's it. Now I thought I would show, I was playing around with a, a page from an Edith Holden book I had on my desk and kind of came up with this little, I don't know if anybody else makes anything like it. it. I'm calling it a paper wallet. So this little flap here, just it actually could have a closure here, but I just tied a bow. So there's a flap that goes this way, and then this flips out this way. And then in here is uh, just a little pocket where I use some scraps of the, actually use the page, the part of the page I cut out here to make this little tag. And then I made a, another little kind of a note card to stick um, in this pocket. So it sort of makes me think the way it's shaped is kind of like a wallet. So I'm calling it a paper wallet. I didn't. I decided not to use it in here because I didn't want to add extra bulk and have to put a closure on it. But um, you know, it could even be flipped over a page like this. I think that would be cute in a journal or it could go in a pocket. So anyway, just thought I'd show you my uh, paper wallet. Okay, thanks for watching.